Hi there, this is Tamak Bipko from Seabird Advocate for the All. So today I am here to discuss some uh, do's and don'ts plus some uh, missing points that generally students face in their writing module. So here, as you all know that, writing is a part of IELTS uh, which is uh, considered as the formal lecture for students. So this is a very toughest. So some students think that writing in informal uh, writing in formal ways are totally difficult to do but it's very easy to do formal writing so today i am going to discuss about something uh, some points some idea dwell ideas some uh, thing related to organizing your body paragraphs so let's start with it so basically what's writing writing is a form of writing that you can provide some ideas to the reader that can be uh, in terms of, uh, as you know, that grammar, vocabulary, coherence, and task response. So basically, there are two types of uh, writing that is task one and task two. So, as you all know, that writing task one is a uh, visual information, and writing task two is related to a particular topic that you have to write it in an essay form. So basically, uh, students say there are problems in the that are related to uh, making ideas, give some ideas in your way. The end a whole problem face that is related to organizing the body paragraphs. So basically, I'll just on the discuss karange. So uh, it's a very easy to write or balance your body paragraphs. So you can use peep or peer method. So what's a peep and peer method? Let me explain you in brief. So peep method is this is the point point related to your uh, statement. And this is for evidence. Evidence in the sense you can also use it as explanation that is related to the point. What you would like to explain in brief that is evidence and E stands for example and the last one is the point closer. Point closer in the sense the point which you start in the beginning and you end and link in the point closer. The what could be the result of this point. So let me explain briefly what's the PEEP method and how to implement it. So let's take some examples over here. So for example, just like you don't make essay children, for the essay there is no statement given that the jo article jana environment ko hot jala khara ho chukya fluoride fauna deli or totally suitable nahi hai living deli because the temperature or bahut jada rise kar chukya. So do you agree or disagree with the given statement? Okay, so peep me athano to sikhe me implement karna. So for example, so jo jadi thodi after the temperature baad gaya, odhe pichhe the reason ki hai. Okay, deforestation, but you can make deforestation over here. So no, deforestation we kiss cheese that we go here. So the main point should be overpopulation. Bohat jada abadi ho rhi hai, abadi ho de karke hi jo hai, loog materialistic ho rhe ne. Materialistic ho ne karke obye basic needs no complete karn was there. For example, house was there, food was there, chika o land no clear ka rhe ne. Land no clear karn ne ne, us da reason hai hai ki deforestation ho rhi hai and jari global warming hai o increase ho rhi hai. So, if you have a point, this is the main point and this is the explanation plus a suitable example add to the result. So, overpopulation is materialistic, land clear, so that the global warming is So, this is the peak method. I think this could be beneficial for you to organize your body paragraphs. Now, let's move towards how to develop ideas. Some students are mostly, uh, I think, learners face problems to how to um, develop their ideas for writing task two. So you can use the two methods. So the first method is you can um, do brainstorming. Brainstorming in the sense that you can jot down the ideas and the second one is mind mapping. Mind mapping is just mind mapping is what you ideas and visualization. For example, when we have traffic, we have to do something like traffic. So, we have to do something like that. We have to do something like that. We have to do something like that. So, we have to do something like that. So, ideas to develop is the best method. That is the best method. That is the best method. So, P stands for political, E stands for economics, S stands for social culture, T stands for technology. And E stands for environment and L for logical factors.
ओके सो कोई भी स्टेटमेंट थानू गिवन है फॉर एग्जांपल ग्लोबल वार्मिंग वाली ही आप चाहते हैं सो इदे ऊपर इंप्लीमेंट करके देखो कि ओदा किस चीज नाल लिंक हो रहा है ते किथों आप ऑन पॉइंट्स बना सकते हैं सो पैसल मेथड इन ब्रीफ तुसी किदा आइडिया नु चकना किदा ओनु बनाना ए मैं थानू नेक्स्ट अपकमिंग वीडियोस च पूरा एग्जांपल दे नाल डिस्क्राइब करूंगी सो द लास्ट वन इज डूज एंड डोंट्स जो कि बच्चे अक्सर गलती कर दिया एकेडमिक क्वाइटिंग टास्क 2 दे विच दे दोस आर द डूज एंड डोंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डू केरी चीज तुसी राइटिंग दे विच करनी है सब तो ज्यादा इंक्रीज बैंड स्कोर करन दा बेस्ट मेथड दैट इज डू फ्री राइटिंग ठीक है कोई भी स्ट्रक्चर नहीं आप हैवी कनेक्टर्स नहीं यूज करने ओनो आप फ्री लिखना है जितनी थोड़ी फ्री राइटिंग होगी थोड़ा बैंड स्कोर उतना ही ज्यादा अप जाएगा सो नेक्स्ट वन इज डोंट्स डोंट्स जो अक्सर बच्चे गलती कर देने सो डोंट्स के लिए आप यूज नहीं करने those are don't use contractions for example some students use its like its i t s don't do such type of mistakes in your writing task too because it is a formal not informal writing okay so you can use it it is don't do not won't want to like this okay so the second common mistake which uh, you people do most of it is do not use very word फॉर एग्जांपल बहुत सारे लर्नर्स होते हैं कि वो वेरी दे नॉट ही सेंटेंस नो स्टार्ट कर देने ओके फॉर एग्जांपल लेट मी गिव एन एग्जांपल फॉर दिस फॉर एग्जांपल स्टूडेंट्स एजुकेशन प्लेस इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल ओके सो टेक्नोलॉजी प्लेस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नो यू कैन रिप्लेस इट बाय द टर्म्स मैंडेटरी क्रूशियल दिस टाइप ऑफ वर्ड्स यू कैन यूज बट डोंट यूज अ वेरी बिकॉज़ ए थोटी राइटिंग नो बहुत इनफॉर्मल काट हो जाए so the last one is do not use a personal pronouns kafi bachcha ni ye problem hundi hai ki we you use kar liya writing de vich oh fir informal chale janda so don't use a personal pronouns you can use the word one individual people such type of words can enhance the writing more okay so these type of things please don't repeat in your task 2 as well as task 1 this is a formal writing test not informal so let me introduce something new about in my upcoming videos how to make an introduction how to implement this pestle and pure method some more interesting facts thank you so much